Hello everybody, so today we are going to look at how you can make a perfect website. Yes, as you can see here, I have scored 100 out of 100 in everything and we have got this amazing quiz stuff here and it is using P react which is a brother of react with a lot of not lot of bit of performance and uh, less size improvements and all that stuff so if you don't believe this let me delete this and uh, run this again so this is my app introvert test so you can download this as well from the app store or google play store just give it a try it's really cool so I am running this lighthouse stuff which gives you a score and sometimes it just it just I don't know what happens so like sometimes it will give you full if you will uh, do this again and I, I don't know how it works so yeah I got it 200 out of 100 so lot of things are going on here I will show you so again as it is showing 99 so you got it you have to be like perfect right right we have to be perfect okay so let me show you how the things are so these are the screenshot but uh, if you will look so lot of technologies are went uh, let me show you the network tab so i'll disable the cache it is here and uh, let's uh, add a like a slow 3g okay let's see how how much time does it take to load this website so there is this react thing going on as well and we have this image loader so as you can see it is lazily loaded so all the images only get loaded when you go there so as you can see it's it's loading right so and here we have this uh, uh, score cool so now if i reload this thing you will see how much time it takes to load on a slow 3g okay and we are done it's it's loaded so this image is just loading and uh, what i have used here is called blur hash so what what you see here is this thing uh, i have like generated this like uh, a small uh, image hash which gets rendered here and this website is built using astro yes you heard it right it's like the coolest stuff so it's like so you get the server side rendering and all that stuff here so uh, this whole part is in like a static html everything is here is static but this is like component let me i'll show you code in a bit and all these images are if you will look here so this has height and width which you need to get the 100 percent score so and this is like web p here as well and here we have this a v i f as well which is the latest image format guys so you gotta use a v i f or at least web p so what i have done is all of my these images are of 1x and 2x size so if i go here and if i set this dpr2 and uh, i go in network tab let me uh, reload this thing again so you will see something so i'll uh, filter image only and we don't need slow 3z as well so as you can see it is loading the uh, 2x version so as you can see here it's like 2x uh, this is 2x 2x and if i change the dpr to 1 and you will see it loads the one uh, 1x version so you see this this is the 1x this is the 1x version so this is how it works using the source set so however if someone is using iphone or like mobile phone which has like a high dpi dpr is like device pixel ratio it means you have the same the size is same it's 875 but the pixels are double so that's how you can clearly see those good great details even in such a small display all right so i will just show you the code now so this is using p react because there are a lot of things going on and everything is accessible as well so if i press like uh, let me go here if i press tab i get this here i get this here and i am uh, here now so these all these questions are hidden so it is uh, a scroll view so this is scrollable okay 
so uh, all these are here so if i click like somewhere i hit enter or a space so you see it swipes and all these images are also of multiple dpr so it means if i have like dpr2 display it will load the 2x version of this image this is how you make a website look good on literally every device and if my display is currently 1 dpr right now so i should not be getting the 2x version right because that's like why will i download extra data why will i waste so much uh network bandwidth and uh, so these things are like i can use my arrow keys and as you can see and the thing is if i press tab i go here so i cannot like get back to the accessible thing i will make another video for how i made this accessible so you can see that later and this is yeah it is just a scrolling and everything is the fading effect it has got my custom image component as well so that's how it loads and shows you the fading animation there so that's how i have done everything and you need to put all the seo and stuff as well so uh, i will show you the image component so everything gets converted so uh, where is my image so this is my image component so i use this picture tag and it has this like first i am trying to load the avif so if i don't get the avif and i have this two version of avif so you will see this this is the version uh, where is this image so i also have this role image accessibility so first one is this uh, where is this picture element yeah so this is the source first like this is the 1x this is how you write so and this is how you write 2x so both the images i am mentioning here and uh, what you also see is a fallback to webp because uh, some of the browsers are still not supporting safari yes you got to support avif man not man safari is not a man so this is how this thing is there so this is a fallback and make sure you mention this type avif image avif otherwise your website will have broken images and yeah you got to have this alt tag on literally every image and if you don't want to put alt tag you can just pass it an empty string so yeah this is how all the imaging is done so i have used the image magic tool to convert uh, i wrote a script let me show you so what it does is where is this asset so i have like all these uh, image versions and there is this uh, script so uh, let's uh, read only mode uh, uh, let's see like this is the script i get the file name like i am generating this like uh, it's it's simple script i will put this on my uh, gist and you will find a link there so this is all done and all these things are server side rendered so if i'll go and view page source so as you can see in this uh, bottom so there is this thing take the test now and here it is like all the data so you can see everything so for seo um, the search engine will read all the question and stuff so if someone is looking for that on my website they can easily look it up but they won't be able to directly jump to it but it is still searchable but it's just hidden so that's what i'm trying to tell you so this whole thing is in uh, astro as i said and i have done some configuration and all that stuff so uh, in this index dot astro as you can see there i have this questions element and i am rendering this this is client idle it means after the client has been idle so you can read more on the docs uh, just give this astro a try it's 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 great there are some bugs and issues uh, which they are currently fixing but for most of the work it is it is great so yeah the blur hash is pretty cool as well so you can uh, integrate any wheat plugin as well so that that also works but uh, yeah this is how you do it the right way how you make the perfect website so 
and everything has has to be in contrast so if you go here and click this so you see there is the contrast ratio i can't just click on that because i'll my mouse will not go there so yeah uh, there is that and uh, if i press print screen yeah uh, there you see this thing this is the contrast okay and uh, there is another thing as well if you press control shift p in chrome you can see this uh, css overview so this is an experimental feature so what you do is you capture the overview so you see all the colors and stuff it gets here so uh, this show you you have this contrast issue so you click on this and uh, there is it so the contrast is 5 it's not triple a triple a means like your contrast ratio should be like around 10 or something i i wanted this blue color that's why i did not change it but yeah like if this is black so if i'll hover this you can see the contrast is 17 so always try to put black whenever you can because that's the best contrast ratio so this is how you make things perfect and all the font info is here and here you will see unused declarations as well. So uh, there we have this BG aspect ratio somewhere. So these are stuff which is not being used. So I don't know. But yeah, let's do a lighthouse score once again to see if we get it right analyze page i am not sure how they measure this thing why is it like a variable why is it not constant so i'll have to do some more research or like it's it's bit buggy so as you can see we we got the 100 so yeah this is this is perfect so if i copy this link i open in this uh, new incognito window you will see how fast it is how fast it is guys and if i scroll like this gets lazily loaded this is 3d we have lot of assets here as well so this is all about how you can make a perfect website they'll give you suggestions how to optimize all that stuff how to put all the like image in place how to put multiple resolutions so like your image needs to be in the same like uh, my image this is like 640 so my original image should also be 640 pixels so this is how you make the perfect images images matter a lot always use webp and avif webp is universally supported almost all across the platforms i'm not sure uh, there might be some devices which do not support but for majority webp is supported and avif is supported in chrome and firefox as well so make sure you use avif and webp with the fallback and yeah i am using tailwind css as well that's that's all nothing else like all these images are hosted on uh, AWS S3 using the CloudFront CDN. So yeah, there you go. So everything is not being, and this website is using Cloudflare pages. So yeah, that's there. And yeah, this is the whole thing. So if you want to see more insightful, like how I have done accessibility and more videos related to this. So, and how you can generate blur hashed image. So I am using the same blur hash in the background as well, because it looks really cool, right? So there you go. I hope to see you soon. So bye bye. Take care. Stay creative. If you have any doubts, leave in the comment and yeah, make sure to follow me on GitHub because you will see stuff there. So you have to go github.com slash Shivam Joker. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you will find my profile there. I am quite famous, not quite famous, just 471. You can do some magic and make it 500. How about that? All right. So uh, bye bye. Take care.